Um, it was 1987. Um, we went in the studio. Uh, it was funny. I told um, Jonathan Briley he could join Sleep Chamber if we could do our version of um, Sight of Pain, Sight of Pleasure. And he said, yeah. He was dying to be in Sleep Chamber. I mean, John the Briley was a nice, uh, nice guy, gentleman. Still, you know, black belt and a bodybuilder and I'm, I'm specialist and all that shit, black ops, whatever the fuck. He was that, you know, and um, he was perfect for Sleep Chamber. People would say, you know, uh, you're crazy, but he's insane. So, I mean, John the Briley was, was perfect in Sleep Chamber. Um, what did we do? We did um, Side of Pain, Side of Pleasure, Kiss a Whip. We did that the same day. And um, we didn't make too many trips in the studio in 87. Uh, it gets expensive. Uh, we did uh, Odorata, Sexualis the next day. And uh, The Nun, which I thought came out like shit. I don't know. The, the, the engineer thought we should do something a little more popular. And uh, so I wrote The Nun in the studio. I mean, this, this is the way we used to record. We didn't uh, write songs and practice them and then go record them. I wrote all those songs in the studio within an hour. Um, it's funny, uh, spell bondage is much like uh, Submit to Desire. One side's got all your studio stuff from Newbury Sound. I can submit this uh, fetish, um, subterranean, subhuman, uh, whatever, all those tracks were done in New Reach Turn Sound. And the, the B side of Submit was all uh, radio broadcasts, you know, when we did something live on the radio, more ambient type uh, instrumentals. That was on the B side. Spell Bondage, uh, the B side was uh, Extreme Unction was done in the studio in New Reach Sound. But um, the rest of the tracks were just little ditties we had hanging around. Femme Fatale, whatever. That's why it didn't end up on the DVD. It was just a little ditties uh, that we, we didn't know what to do with. Just fill, it, filler. What do, you want me <laughs> what do you want to say? It was filler. But uh, it did have some good songs. Um, uh, Jonathan Briley in the band. I mean, you, everybody, we Jonathan Briley. The guy has decided he does not want to carry the weight of sleep chamber any longer. I mean, he has a family, okay? I don't have a family. You know what I mean? I don't, I'm not married, I don't have kids, none of that shit. He does. So, um, it was getting a little dangerous around um, the time we were fucking around the clubs and, and it was getting crazy. So, I mean, he had to step out. It was serious, he had to step out. It was getting too intense for him. Um, I value those days though, he's a brother, a blood brother. And, um, I don't know, Kiss the Whip is Kiss the Whip. We didn't, uh, I didn't see it as any kind of special song, but it did, it became an anthem at the live shows. People love to sing it. But you know, there's this, this is an important thing about Kiss the Whip that stands for Sleep Chamber. We are the ultimate minority, okay? And if you don't know what that means, you have no business being around Sleep Chamber, listening to Sleep Chamber, or any of that. And we've decided since the fucking corporations and the government are in the middle of destroying uh, music by making things like uh, Guitar Hero, now, now, now people don't uh, idolize or value musicians as being individuals because they can go home and play on their guitar or whatever, be like Aerosmith or ACDC. But now music's going down, it's dying, the only shit you're gonna hear on the radio is what they want you to hear. We don't give a shit about your fucking radio stations, we don't give a shit about your magazines, or any other shit that has to do with rock and roll or the fucking scene. Sleep Chamber has decided to become underground and, in, and private. The only exposure people are gonna have to Sleep Chamber is if you're dedicated and you prove it. And you know something? I'm gonna be fucking crazy enough to show you what I'm gonna do, okay? Keep an eye on the website, keep an eye on Facebook, okay? And see how fucking sick 
and how crazy sleep chamber. Oh, no, it's sick and crazy, but uh, see how individual we are. See how um, aware we are and what dimension we're interested in being in, okay? Because we don't give a shit about your rock and roll or your fucking bands or who's this or who's that or who's better. Fuck them all, okay? Sleep Chamber is the ultimate minority. And if you don't know what that is, pay attention. Look up, brother. It's coming. We don't give a shit about rock and roll or music or scenes, okay? Fuck off.